NBC News has exclusive reporting this morning showing what Jamal Khashoggi's text messages might reveal. Meanwhile, President Trump demanding answers this morning. The Washington Post reports Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman ordered an operation to lure the missing journalist back to Saudi Arabia from the US and detain him. NBC News has not had access to the alleged intelligence intercepts cited in the Post reporting, but they raise more disturbing questions. It's a very sad situation. It's a very bad situation. And we want to get to the bottom of it. President Trump stopping short of blaming Saudi Arabia for the disappearance of Jamal Khashoggi, a journalist and critic of the Saudi regime, but telling reporters he's spoken out to the country's leaders. I, I don't want to make, I don't want to say that. I hope he's not. I hope he's not. As the mystery deepens, the president says he's been in contact with Khashoggi's fiance, inviting her to the White House. Turkish authorities insisting Khashoggi was killed inside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. This CCTV footage showing him entering the building, but never leaving. Three people familiar with the investigation tell NBC News Turkish authorities have told the US they have audio listening devices inside the consulate, giving them at least some insight into things happening there. Adding to the mystery, these screenshots of text messages obtained by NBC News, sent to Khashoggi by a friend in the US using WhatsApp, with timestamps indicating Khashoggi checked his cell phone just before entering the consulate, but did not see messages sent to him minutes later. The Saudis have denied any role in his disappearance, maintaining there's no video of Khashoggi's exit because the cameras weren't recording. But in Washington, outrage on Capitol Hill. The Republican chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Bob Corker, sending a letter to the president invoking an international act calling on the U.S. to impose sanctions on Saudi Arabia in response to the suspected murder of Khashoggi. I do look at it uh, certainly as a shot across the bow at Saudi Arabia. If it did happen, they would be held to pay. Early Wednesday, new images shown on Turkish television released by authorities there, reportedly showing a 15-man Saudi hit team arriving in Istanbul on two private planes and later leaving their hotels the same day Khashoggi vanished. As Turkish investigators continue to hunt for this black SUV parked outside the consulate building that day. Meanwhile, NBC News has learned Turkish consulate employees were expect unexpectedly told to take the day of Khashoggi's visit off and that a high-level meeting was taking place there. That's according to sources close to the investigation. Here's the thing, guys. For the White House, this is potentially both political and personal. Jared Kushner, President Trump's son-in-law, has been increasingly close to the Saudi leader. Yeah. Mm. Care. Thank you very much. Yeah.